I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Holy weekend, how does it count Jesus being in the grave for three days? That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, making the gifts of Christ Jesus known to youth and young adults, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. In our app, it's available on all major platforms. Sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things content. And donate, your tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us a rolling. This is a big weekend. Jesus dies on Good Friday before the sun goes down. He does. And they hurriedly throw him in the tomb with a bunch of spices, and they don't properly prepare his body. Now, how's it three days? Well, it has to do with how the Jews count time. Evening, morning, a day. You see, morning, afternoon, is still day. And, and so when Jesus dies on Friday, even though the sun is going down, that's the first day. He takes it into the grave before the sun goes down. Friday. And then he's in there evening and morning, that's Saturday, and then evening and morning, that's Sunday. A three-day rest in the tomb. So if you're doing, doing the math, you're like, well, that's like 48 hours in the tomb, that's not 72. That's not what's important. What's important is the days, evening and morning. Genesis 1, if you need a reminder. Another thing to be aware of this week is the sinfulness of men works for God. And what I mean by that is we are so dead set on killing God that when we kill him, we got to make sure he stays dead. And so the Pharisees go to Pilate and they, they ask Pilate to put guards at the tomb, fearful that Jesus is going to be stolen by his disciples. And so guards are placed at the tomb whose job it is to keep the theft from happening. This is in Matthew 27, if you are looking for it. Now, why is this important? Well, their desire to keep God dead only strengthens the argument of the resurrection. The disciples did not steal the body. How do we know this? Because the tomb was guarded. It was guarded until Easter morning when the stone rolled away and an angel popped out and the guards became like dead from fright. The only people dead on Easter morning are the guards and they were like dead. Then they're bribed by the Pharisees to say that they stole the body. That's Matthew 28. So all of the work that goes on in trying to delegitimize the resurrection actually works for the resurrection's proof. Because what kind of religion tells you what the evil people are doing or what your plan could have been to undermine the resurrection except one who knows that it's not going to work? The guards end up being the only people dead at the tomb on Easter morning and all the business of the Pharisees bribing the guards, it doesn't work. The news spreads of the resurrection, starting first in Jerusalem and spreading throughout all of Judea and all of the world. And we believe this gospel because Jesus, who died on Good Friday, rose again from the dead. So that's how it's three days. That's the importance of the guards there, the sealed tomb. One last thing while I'm summing up here on my last new video short. The stone. 
Joseph of Arimathea puts Jesus in a stone hewn out of the rock. It's a new tomb that no one has been laid in because in the ancient world, you just reuse tombs. So like you put the person on the slab, you seal the tomb, the next relative dies, you pick the person up, the, their bones up, gather them all together, put them in a little box or jar, put the new person on the tomb. The tomb that Joseph of Arimathea put Jesus in is a tomb that no one had ever been used before. That is a holy tomb. And so Jesus holies the tombs of all the saints. But more than that, the rock that seals the tomb tells us a little bit about what was going on in the minds of the early Christians on that first Easter morning. They wanted the stone to be rolled away. They were wondering how that was going to happen so they could prepare the dead body. You see, you have doubts in this world, so did they. You wonder sometimes while you do what you do and whether God's for you or not, so did they. And here his, his altar guild was going on the first day of the week, Sunday, to prepare the dead body of Jesus. And that's why the, the angel looks at them sitting on the place where Jesus had laid, past tense, and says, why do you seek the living amongst the dead? You seek Jesus, the crucified. He's not here. See the place where they laid him. Again, everything about the unbelief of the apostles and the Pharisees benefits your faith so that you could see that they didn't get it so that when you don't get it, you don't think, oh, I wish I was back in the tomb on Easter morning and then I would get it. You wouldn't have. But don't fret. You have better than that. You have the word of God, which tells you that the one who died on Good Friday rose again from the dead and that he lives and nevermore shall he die. A blessed and happy Holy Week. It's been a pleasure doing 10 years of videos for you. Soon, we're going to run some, video, uh, some reruns next week. Soon you're going to have a new pastor here with a microphone like this one. I'm not going away. I'm not going from, away from higher things. I'm just going to do different things for them um, and not the video shorts. It's time to pass the baton to someone younger and sprier and all that jazz. Um, but it's been, a, it's been an honor doing this for 10 years and being the guy that gave you five minute answers to your questions. Um, I'm going to get a little, <clears throat> if I keep talking about this, I'm going <clears> to <throat> get a little bit sad here. But a blessed Easter to you and to your family. And this Easter, after you celebrate this Easter, do me a favor and go to higherthings.org because this is my last video short that's new. Give to higher things. It would be a gift to them. It'd be a good send off for me. I'm Pastor George Borkhart. I'm getting a little... And this has been another Higher Things video short. <laughs>